Hey, what's going on? It's Boss Brit, the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel. And this is... The No Homo Show. Everything we talk about... is homo as... Gay, 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 We gay, The intro is always... I don't know. It's never going to get up. We have a gay bee with us. Not a gay bee. A gay bee. The one, the only, Miss Candace Hogan in the building. Okay, intro. Welcome to the No Homo Show, girl. Thank you for having me, guys. How you I'm feeling? Excited. How you living? I feel good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I don't even know why I'm nervous, but. Well, welcome to the No Homo Show. I just want to say, you know, I love you to death. Known you for quite some time. I think it was like uh, 2018 when I met you. 17. Probably, maybe 16. Maybe 16. Like, Damn. Nah, it, was, it had oh, to be yeah. 17. It might have been 17. It low key might have been, been, been 16 16. because I was with the um, yeah. doing a gay boy party. Yeah, still. it had to be 16. I, y'all yeah. booked me for that. Yeah. Damn. So that's crazy because <laughs> right after that, that booking. She, Britt booked me for that party, mm-hmm. and right after that, we started working together. Just before we was partners. So that's oh, wow. crazy. So I was, that's that crazy. was at the very beginning. Yeah. And then you came out with us, and we just so happened to actually still use that venue. That is so, so crazy. So it was like, welcome back. That was, that's <laughs> so welcome dope. back. That's so welcome back. Yeah. That was actually, it's so funny, because I don't come to Atlanta that often. Yeah. So... Every time somebody would ask me, I was like, I haven't been to Atlanta since I was booked to come to Atlanta. Right, that was I years ago. Stay. I literally didn't even, like, I stayed for, like, that booking and left. I never really stayed in Atlanta. Yeah. That was the last time you was in Atlanta? I came, like, for one, like, a couple of more times, but it would literally yeah. be for, like, a day or two. In and it's out. It's really in and out. It's yeah. never, like, this is the longest I've been here. Yeah. So. Now, you were supposed to have been gone. You stayed late yes, for us I to make this the show. show. She a real one. Yes. Y'all yes, niggas yes, not yes. extending y'all flight for us. Like, oh, nah. No, seriously. Because I was, <laughs> no, I was, I'm just, I just love this, so I was yeah. like, this is nice. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, well, the way that we start is with the coming out story. You can keep oh it brief. God. But when did you and how did you come out? Oh, my God. I was a freshman in high school, and I will never forget um, how it happened was I was <laughs> dating a girl off the basketball team. I knew she was going to say basketball <laughs> team. Hold on, hold on. We're going to have to do a clip of every we do. person. We really do. Everybody we interviewed. <laughs> As soon as you said high school, I said, watch as a basketball player. I was dating a girl off the <laughs> basketball team, and she was not out at all. But I was really, like, in my era. I was like, I don't care as long as my mom knows. But mm. crazy thing is she didn't know at this time. <laughs> but either way, I was dating her, and it was my birthday. Okay. And, you know, girls love to show out for birthdays. Yeah, definitely. So it was my <laughs> birthday, and all of my, I was having a slumber party. All of my friends. Not a gay uh, slumber party. No, it was a straight slumber party, because I wasn't even, like, trying to sure. be. Sure. Right? Yeah, wink, wink, right? <laughs> and literally, like, she comes in with, like, all of my friends are giving me, like, little gifts. Their parents are giving gifts. She come in showing out. A little ring from Kay. Damn. Like, no, literally, like, it was like she really, like, you Got know, you. like, some little cute little stuff. So my mom was like, why is this girl coming in here? Short, <laughs> and she had a basketball shorts. Now, ah. now why would you wear that to the party? <laughs> and a white t-shirt. She a stud. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> And of course she comes in there. I'm talking about bags just galore. Yes, and I'm like, stud galore. Just telling, just telling. <laughs> stud galore. And literally, my color. mom was like, she pulls me to the side and she goes, "Why is that girl bringing in all this stuff?" Ooh, ooh. And I was like, "I don't know. It's my birthday." <laughs> right, like, duh, mom. Don't you see? I'm getting gifts. And she was like, N- "She can't spend the night." Damn. Shut it down instantly. Damn. She can't spend the night. I wouldn't let a guy. Sp- but she didn't even. When I tell you literally, like, she didn't even ask me no questions. Like, <laughs> are you doing that? She just said she can't spend the night. I wouldn't let your boyfriend spend the night. You know, I can't even be mad because, <laughs> like, I low key was exposed like that. Remember, I told you my ex brought mad yeah. gifts to the locker room. Like, n- regular it's like friends you ain't doing too much. Regular right? friends ain't doing that. Right, but why she gonna just be your tomboy friend that was bringing you gifts? No, <laughs> hey, but you know what? It was giving stuff. Back stud. then, it wasn't as popular. Right, that's true. So, and moms know, parents yeah, be knowing. And moms know, yeah. and it's like it wasn't as like it wasn't that many studs back then. So <laughs> yeah. it was just like your mom Ex- Excel was a stud. <laughs> yeah. She's probably one of the really? founding studs. Like if there was the uh what is that, Mount Rushmore, <laughs> it would be like Excel, Queen Latifah. MC Light. No. <laughs> you better stop. I'm like Queen no. Latifah's daughter, bitch. You better stop playing me, y'all. Well, I'm not that you, old. She blew my cover. But yeah. it was nice because after that, I was like, oh, baby, my mama know. 
know, I'm outside. Like, so she knew that you like girls just oh, from she, that. Yeah, because I told her like. Okay, you told after her that she was just like, "Are you seeing her?" And I was like, "Yeah, I like her." Yeah. So I, I was just honest, and I was just. You and know, she was, was cool she cool with it? it? And right. She was okay. She was like, That's good. she just it was no more slumbers. So right. <laughs> but she was like, okay. Yeah. So you were with the girl though. You end up being with the girl. Oh for yeah, a while? we were. We, we were. I feel like we were already together like a year before that. Oh, oh damn. We, we was really going hard. That's why she. Yeah. Y'all better be at that point. You getting a ring? Y'all yeah, had better have a little time like a on y'all. Ring that her grandma probably. You know, like yeah, at the time she didn't have her own money, so like she right. had a really like dope grandma that was like <laughs> spoiling the shit out of her. So anytime like it was birthdays and stuff, her grandma yeah. would give her money to give me. Right. Stuff, so I'm That's fucking cool. dead. Yeah. Well, for those who may or may not know, you were on the Bad Girls Club, so we got to talk about that, because you said, you know, you really don't even talk about it at all. Yeah. So let's talk about what season you were on, and how'd you even get to the point of, like, I'm going to audition for a Bad Girls Club? Oh, my God. So the craziest thing was, first of all, disclaimer, I was 24 years old. Bad Girls. <laughs> I'm 31 years old now, but... Um, Damn, I'm saying I'm playing. <laughs> no, literally. I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm, I'm right behind you, girl. I'm right behind but you. But what's crazy is um, I had a cousin. My cousin, she was going to the audition. Okay. And she she lives in she was living like another city in Chicago, so it was a little further. But she was like, "I'm coming to Chicago. Can I? I'm going to a bad girls club audition. Can I stay at your place?" Mm -hmm. Mind you, the day before I went to the damn audition, I was I went to a party and got in a fight with some bitch. But it was just so <laughs> random. Like, so I'm like, okay, I'll take you. So I'll drop you off. How I ended up auditioning, I don't know. I can't. Even, I don't even wow. like. I don't understand. <laughs> Long story short, um, you know, the audition was literally an open call. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like they called you. It's like, it was an open call. So imagine, like, thousands of girls just lined up down the street yeah. acting a fucking fool because they thought that that was what was right. on the show. But I just went in there being myself. Like, I was literally myself. I didn't have any drama in the line. I had a scratch right here on my fucking face. That's what it was. Before. They was like, oh, yeah, we want her. And so at the time, my hair was like super short and I was just like, you know, I'm going to be myself, but you have girls like in the fucking line. I'm talking about pushing, right, yelling, shit. screaming, just extreme. A mess. And I was like, dude, relax. <laughs> like y'all are trying way too hard to be a bad girl. Right. Like, my definition of bad girl is different from other girls, clearly. So I just was just like, be yourself, whatever. So we get up to the line. It was probably, they, they, was, they separated us in tens. So the craziest thing happened, me and my cousin, we went in the same group of 10 because we were in the line next to each other. Mm. And they asked us, our season was <clears throat> season 16 and it was called Social Disruption. And it was just like a whole bunch of girls in one house with social media presence that already had social media presence. And so what, what was going on was like, it was just haywire. But back to the audition part, I was just in the line being myself. They called us in. They asked us to see our Instagrams at the time. I think at the time I probably only had like, I feel like I only had like 15K or so. I don't even remember. But mm -hmm. at the time I would only like post outfit of the day pictures okay, and stuff great. like that. <laughs> and all of a sudden, like they were asking us like, oh, can we, you know, like we, the one girl, one girl even lied. She lied and said, I have like a hundred K and oh. they, and she didn't expect them to pull that shit up. Why would you even, you Why know, they you? was going to be like, let me see. She bold for that. When I tell you, they were like, let me see. Yeah. And they took her fall and y'all, she had like fucking not even a K in the. <laughs> uh -huh. in she said, I meant a hundred, just a hundred. They said, oh girl, you're already just, you lied. Like, what are you lying for? So after that, um, Unfortunately, my cousin didn't even get it, but they had, damn. You know, they, took your cousin's was, spot. Isn't that crazy? And it was she mad? Like, I, I don't know. She was mad because she was like, "Girl, you wouldn't even try to come down." And she was like my cousin on you my dad's always side, so we oh. wasn't like super like like we didn't get to see each other that much. Yeah, but it was just like fuck. She invited me, and then they literally told me and one other girl to stay at the table and dismissed all the other eight girls. Damn. So the next audition, so that happens, and then the next day they wanted you to come back and like do like a on camera audition mm -hmm. then after that they literally like want you to do a fucking can i say fucking yeah okay. fuck that shit. they want you to do a um taping where you're out with your friends your day-to-day -day, and okay. that's what they wanted you to do after that 
<laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was like, okay, whatever. At the time I was working at, this is backstory that nobody knows. Y'all are getting it all first. Yes. Um, it's just taking me back to that place. It's so interesting. But mm -hmm. I was working at a call center at the time. And I've never really been good at jobs, honestly. <laughs> I've always got I used fired. to love them call center jobs. Oh, man, I've always been fired. I worked <laughs> Hello? At my longest job. <laughs> right, on my phone. Like, uh, my job was Forever 21. And I, yes. I was there for the fashion, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I was there. And they told me. So they wanted me to do, like, a day in my life. And so I told them. I was just like, hey, like, I ha I'm, I'm trying to get on this show. Mind you, my fucking attendance was already trash. So they were all, I was this close to getting fired anyway. Right. And so they were like, if you go to that audition, you are fired. You mm. think I didn't go? I would have said bye. I said bye. Y'all look And they center. told me that I couldn't. Right. And they told me I couldn't record in there. So I was like, okay, whatever. Like whatever. After that, what was you gonna record in the call center? <laughs> because they just want. They really wanted to. When I hello me, bye, bad girl. No, hello fuck you, bad girl. They wanted. I'm to gonna be prove I'm a bad business. They wanted to. Yeah. Be, they wanted to see you at work. They want to see you in your day to day life. Got you. And so after that, so I, then, did, I didn't end up going to the job. Um, and so they I record did, you unemployed. Pretty right? much. <laughs> no, pretty much. Like, uh, you can stay at the house with me. Uh. Exactly. Like that's exactly how it was. I'm driving down the street one day and I'm in traffic and I saw a call from fucking California coming from my phone and my heart was like, <laughs> oh my God, I think this is them. Yeah. And it was them. And they That's literally, it. like the lady was like, hi, can I speak to Candace? I was like, this is me. And she was like, I just want you to know you made it. To I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you know, it was just crazy. And it was like really a highlight in yeah. my life because I was 24 years old and I was, I was, I'm a, I've always been a creative, so mm -hmm. I have never really had a plan B. Like, mm -hmm. it, I don't, I still right now, I don't do plan B. Mm -hmm. like, right. I Because it's too safe for me. Right. So it's like, this is my plan B. I'm hoping to get paid to do everything that I love by just being me. There's no other option for me. I got one plan B. What? Stud stripper. No. Just in case. <laughs> Well, I, I, I think, but look, I want to be a stud stripper in the straight club because the niggas love studs. No, they really do. And I they got a fat do. ass, man. Come on. This so ain't now no you want a dude gripping your ass? Yeah, and I'll send them my boxers too and my feet. And then you'll be, <laughs> She's they'll be making it rain on you like the whole time. She's disgusting. Side note, side note. Do y'all think Zeus Network is doing um, background checks? Man, hell no. I, I don't Psych think so. Ain't no way they, because, man. No, I don't, Look at Chris I, Sean. I, don't, I don't think so. Don't do Chris Sean like that. <laughs> but you know what? What I do think, well, this, like, for instance, like, you see the table? Yeah. So, say, for instance, this is a lamp. So, when you go. <laughs> no, for real. A lamp. This is how it goes. <laughs> this doesn't even come up. Anything, if you've ever watched Bad Girls Club, you Oh, I get what it, you're saying. It's literally sold to, like, oh, you it's can't allowed. throw shit. No. Wow. We we're not allowed to have, we have to have paper plates, paper forks, none of that. No silverware, no, like, none of that. Shit you don't really think about as a viewer, but <laughs> y'all, exactly. like. Because the people Girl, before that, they was throwing shit. I literally used to call it, like, pink pretty jail because yeah <laughs> no, you can't pick up nothing this book is not I'm like bitch. <laughs> yeah like pick up it, the whole table <laughs> no literally you have to and so that's the thing like imagine just being in a house with seven women that you don't know yeah everybody has different personalities you're over fucking whelmed yeah no music sound like my no boarding music. oh no sound like my boarding school to me no it's giving boarding oh, yeah. school it, it was you can't listen to any no music. cell phones no absolutely they took when i cut my cell phone back after like two months my cell phone looked like it was was put in a graveyard it was yeah. so dusty and dirty like <laughs> No cell phones, but because Damn. ours was called social media disruption, what they would do is give us these little iPod phones and we can like take cute pictures and post on Instagram once a week. But what would happen is even with posting once a week, we could, like if I posted a picture and you commented like, oh my God, super fire. I can't comment back underneath yeah. while I'm filming. I have to go to your page to say thank you. Oh, it was the, it's just the most <laughs> tedious shit. Yeah. So did it change your life? My life? No. Okay. It I mean, social media be changing no, lives no, out no, here. So, I mean, not social media, like these shows. See, this was the thing. To me, personally, I got, it was so much good in it. Yeah. But it was also so much bad. Facts. Um, I think the outside looking in, people don't realize how draining that is. And mm. that's why I haven't interviewed about it. I, like, people... 
they're allowed you sign your name on that line you they are literally able to make you out to be whoever the fuck they want you to be for the views mm-hmm. and <clears throat> i battled with that i was fucking sad as fuck like going after that shit after it aired and just tired like it was some great times don't get me wrong because it was some really big moments but at the same time it was a lot of sad moments too that girls probably don't talk about Mm -hmm. a lot of us suffered from that shit Mm -hmm. you know you have people that like are that was just you would think that like people think it's super life-changing but it also has a dark side to it too and that people don't really talk about like Mm -hmm. yeah i got booked hella booked after that i'm talking about i'm flying city to city i'm making so much (laughs) money but I was drained. Social media drained me. Yes. I had never felt so, like, sad. It, social media was just fun for me. And then my life just changed like that. I didn't have mm. no more privacy. It wasn't any more, like, everybody tied me to candy from BGC. From, still to this day. People still say that. And it drives me, it drives me insane. Because well, I guess like, we can't put that in the title. <laughs> right. It's insane. Say that, look. Uh, yeah, it's, it's insane. <laughs> like, people literally will tie you to that. And, yeah. and I'm Word. so much more than that. Yeah, we have a friend who was on, um, and I hope she don't mind me saying that. I won't say her name. But she was on one of the seasons, mm-hmm. and she does not want to be associated with any of that stuff because yeah. of just how everything played out and how mm-hmm. it tried to make her, you know, look. So what was some of the feedback you were seeing in comments about, like, what they perceived as you versus, like, how you really are as a person? Honestly, like, at that time, now I'm not going to lie, at 24, I was a wild card. Yeah, yeah. So we I all was, was wild, girl. I was enjoying my time. As Even you should. Even that show, like... I was, we, it was nothing to do but drink liquor. Right. I don't even drink. Was it even, I, was it top shelf even, at least? It was just like little things like Hennessy, champagne. Oh, that's at cool. The I, time, I, I was, I was, at the time I was mixing Hennessy and uh, wine together. Just Damn, wine, like, Hennessy and wine? Ridiculous. That's and, just giving all inclusive. <laughs> it's crazy. And I don't even drink, I didn't drink before that. And yeah. I don't drink now. Mm-hmm. But during the time it was just like, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna have a couple shots, but I'm a lightweight. So it's like, I don't even bother. Mm-hmm. But people were like, you know, it was, just the fights and the drama that went on and then the little moment that I had with the other girl and it was just it was it it was perceived a lot that they didn't it was a lot that they didn't show Mm -hmm. but who I already signed my name down so how can I I can't I can't explain every single edit you can literally how you it can be Tuesday and I had on a red shirt and I said some shit like I don't really like I don't like the color red. And then you turn around <laughs> you were and right. now it's Friday. <laughs> and now you see a bitch walking by in red. And I, now you play that clip right. that I said. They're I like, can't be lying like a motherfucker. No, no, no. No, they like, manipulated no, the manipulated. whole thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it's like, they'll, they'll be like, I was saying I didn't like the color red because she had it on. Oh, okay. I get so it now right. it looks like I was being mean. <laughs> That's how they edit that shit. So it's wicked. It's, it's a Ooh. crazy thing. And I just, I would sit back and I was like, at first I was having a ball they named mm-hmm. two episodes after me welcome to candyland was my very first episode hey, when I came in. like it was super like i came in okay you felt me you okay felt me but i after that i was exhausted yeah i was like y'all can have it i i can't i can't do it anymore i don't want to be associated with this shit no more i'm tired yeah I'm exhausted y'all are fucking making me depressed oh my god i can't gosh. go anywhere you have everybody's other fan base you know like a couple of girls i was fighting on there they had bigger fan bases mm-hmm. Even even if I was right in the scenario, their fans was attacking me. Like, bitch, fuck you. I wish your brother, I wish you died. I'm, Damn. I tell you, they go hard. That internet is stupid. People it in the is, comments be going crazy. But then it don't. But you don't really get that energy in real life at right? all. No. They be probably taking a picture with you. It ain't never been a, a day that I've <laughs> actually that a, that. A, That's the thing. You that got- anybody has ever stepped to me and said nothing crazy, but like. Internet, they they literally posted pictures of my dead brother. That's crazy. And like, like just wild shit. I'm not even playing like devastating shit that will really make you sick. And I was so tired of that. Yeah. That era, it was a wreck for me. I'm not. Wow. Even, it was it was tiring. I was tired. Wow. Yeah, the internet trolls are crazy out there. So I can only imagine what you yeah. went through. I do want to ask you. Did you get into co- any coochie in the house? I did. Who you who okay. you smash on? Oh my who you smash God. on? And see, that was a, that was another scenario. Who you like, smash on? It was, you know, at the time, like, 
I was feeling her, she was feeling me. Mm -hmm. But of course, they twisted it to make it seem like I was the aggressor. Mm. I was the one because I was the one that was considered the lesbian. You was the AG. <laughs> so it was kind of like she doesn't she doesn't want this to go on. It's like, dude, it was so much shit that wasn't shown. That's petty about. as hell, man. It was man. crazy. So it kind of made me out to look like a psycho. Yeah. Like I was just going after this girl for no reason. Like, what? come on, bro. Like, don't show, the, fuck would I don't do show that? the girl on the couch like looking like this. Maybe at a whole other scenario. Right. Or something. I'm telling you, like, wow. I'm talking about because um, imagine this: you're mic'd up mm -hmm. for the entire time. You're mic'd up for the entire time. The only time you have a mic off is when you're in the shower. We done, I'm talking about we. It's it's so many things that y'all didn't get to see. Yeah. But I would, I found myself explaining myself so much and i was like fuck it i don't give a fuck thank y'all because one thing about me i ain't never have to chase no bitch mm -hmm. i've never Period. done that in Period. my life so i was like whoa this is different <laughs> they got me out here looking like a like a stalker <laughs> like i'm crazy over her and i was like oh, that's but whatever that's, that's what i signed yeah so if you want to be a reality tv that's what you're doing you're signing away at Ooh. your how yeah. you feel about baddies west <laughs> in I just want to style all the girls. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I, people mention me in that all the time. Yeah, mentioning Natalie. Natalie, get Candace, and I'm like, I don't have time for that today. My yeah. heart is in a, such a different space. I don't. It have seems time like for it. That. Well, I heard. I'm tired. Natalie say that um she originally tried to get like older girls from like bad girls club but she was like yeah. they were all so grown they ain't even want the drama no more I think what it is because, because it's like you have to think about it like i'm 31 natalie's older than me but it makes you realize it makes you think like damn you know i don't have children or nothing so if i really did want to get on tv and act a fucking fool i could mm -hmm. but that's just not where my heart is today i'm right. i'm tired of fighting these bitches i'm right. exhausted like fighting is a lot man <laughs> oh my god right you know boss it's, boss it's exhausting shit, like, and damn. i think that like when people like tag me in that <laughs> and even ball spots bro, no, it's like yo much. you grab one of my locks and i got a ball spot bro. it's too much it's really like a feeling <laughs> of know. just like dudes like we get yeah. too old like come on like and kudos to them but i just be like put me on put me on the payroll so i can style everybody and we can keep it i will do that but i don't want to do that i don't yeah. want to be like that. natalie how... girl you not tired <laughs> no not like she's you gotta be fighting. tired y'all nah, gotta like, be she tired definitely still fighting. she definitely still what's fighting. the point of bad girls club if you had to say it because i don't i really don't know the point of bad girls club baddies uh west nor bad boys because they try to say it's like getting the baddest and we being the baddest and we bossed up but then all i see is like fights and like even on bad boys club the first day they're like yeah who want to fight over the biggest bed i'm like this is how we start in the damn show i think personally i mean honestly you have to look at it the ratings are there they are the there Zeus eating that shit up. that's what it is they're millionaires off of us because this is what we like to watch this is what we like to intake so at the end of the day to be and this is so crazy and this is another thing i've never said i have never said sat down and watch my season I little it was until I think maybe a year or two ago that I actually sat and watched my 24 year old self when I tell you I it was for a long time I couldn't even look at myself from on there mm -hmm. because I was just like I don't I don't I don't want her I don't mm -hmm. like her that's too much mm -hmm. like it's too aggressive I'm fucking tired of that like she tired y'all nah she for tired. real it's like now now don't get it twisted a bitch still better not play okay, okay period yeah. let's not let's not get it twisted but yeah. I am just so like that image yeah I have so much more to offer than yes. that I have so much more I have touched so much more like greater things I don't need that that shit is too crazy so I wouldn't do I that. About I wouldn't do like <laughs> Daddy's week. West and shit. Like it's too much. And then I feel like it's even worse because I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel like again. I don't think they took them girls through therapy. Hell no, nah, they didn't take them through. Like therapy. I don't think they, they need to put some of them in therapy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's happening. So yeah. I and you got to think about it. Fucking Bad Girls Club is was on a real different network budget, oxygen. right? They oxygen. ain't trying to that's take no works. fucking losses like that. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, like. You know, that was bigger than, that wasn't just all about Bad Girls Club. You know? I ain't gonna lie, when I did VH1 for the DJ competition, mm. I had to see a psychologist and all oh, that. Oh, damn. They do a, cre I mean, not credit, a background check. <laughs> Get on a credit <laughs> check. <laughs> they, do, they do all that. And I think that is for like all major platforms. And it, you would mm -hmm. think it'd just be for like, 
um yeah no <laughs> the you baddest can't. but it's like even on some dj shit like damn i ain't gonna kill myself if i lose <laughs> i mean now. yeah but you never know yeah you know you just never know and that's why and it's like so no i, I can't i wouldn't do that type of stuff yeah. because i don't know how safe that is and yeah. i don't know when it's with like it's just too much like Word. hell no i got shit to lose today i i, I didn't have nothing to lose at 24. okay we not, not i went to the <laughs> audition with a scratch i was fine yeah you know, it's too much today i don't want to do that <laughs> they say he wants car face all right last question for bad girls club fuck mary kill who 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 natalie nunn <laughs> blue megan james fuck mary kill ah uh, Kill Megan James. Mm, Megan. Fuck Blue for show. Ah! <laughs> hey, Blue. Uh, <laughs> and then um, Natalie would be the other one. Whatever. Mary. You married Natalie? Got, she getting that bag. She I would, oh, I would marry too. Yeah, yeah, no. For or sure. did you mean to say Mary Blue? <laughs> okay. You, you, no, nah, yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Mary, yeah. I would, I would marry Natalie. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she ass. got that ba beat it, baby. Can, I, can, can you buy me a bag for that beat down that you just gave me the other day? I'm crying. Okay. No. All right, let's get into the love life. Oh my God. And the poly life. Oh. Poly. Poly, ali, 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 ali. All right, so first and foremost, no. how and when, like, all right, so <laughs> how'd you know, like, about being poly? And how did you decide, like, this is going to be, this is this is for me. This is what I'm actually attracted to and what I want for my lifestyle. I think that's a really good question. I think one day I just kind of, like, woke up on some shit. Like, I want two bitches. It, but it was crazy because, I like, my mind, I'm a wanderer. So yeah. my mind is always thinking. And I just found attraction. And I don't mind seeing my, like, lover loving if that makes sense but what about fucking no yeah that's what i'm saying you so like <laughs> loving and fucking two different things like I, like I'm, that's all of the above like okay. i don't mind that Better as long me. as it's in a good space you mm. get like if that makes sense so like i was i just woke up one day and i i can't even but to speed it up i i the, my first couple that i actually dated they were together for like probably at the time like five years at the time. So you got in it with a couple that was already I together. I love, I love couples. <laughs> Watch I out! Love it. Watch like, your bitch. Like no, don't. Like don't. Like let's love each other. Like yeah. I, I don't mind being like a throuple. Yeah. It's not. I don't really feel threatened by joining mm -hmm. a okay. relationship. My only thing with that. Please, y'all be secure. Right. Because if y'all are not secure, now we just got a fucking, we got chaos. Right. And that is something that I haven't really mastered the healthiest poly relationship yet. And that is mm. what I'm dying for right now. Like a healthy poly dynamic because it can work and it can be so rewarding if it's done right. My first, my very first poly relationship, they were together for like five years and we just started, we were just like on Snapchat. I was on Snapchat one day and they started flirting with me. Okay. Shout out to Armani and Lo. But yeah, them are girls. They, oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. started flirting with me, and it was just on some key key. Like they right. had never like did the poly thing or nothing. So they were setting you up at the same time, or like no, like together. Only one. Like they had one page. Oh, oh okay. Word. Yeah, yeah, on Snapchat, and so I didn't know at the time who was writing me. But, that fucked my head up. Like hold up, like yeah, is... but the, but they were writing me, and then um, I think it was Lowe's birthday was coming up. And she was like, and I think she was like, I want her. She told her, uh, they're married. They were, they're married now. But yeah. she told her, like, I want her for my birthday. <laughs> and she told me. And I was like, who? <laughs> <laughs> when I was really, I, I was like, ooh. <laughs> me? You know? Like, so yeah. they were super attractive. Both of them are femmes. Yes. And so I was like, is this serious? Mm -hmm. But at first, you just kind of thinking like, all right, you know, do we just being girls? Right. But no, nah, we was being girls. We was for real. Like, and that turned into a real blown relationship. With y'all three. With us three. And I, it was, it was tough sometimes. Like, it's just like a monogamous relationship, but yeah. it's just a lot. Your heart is being pulled from three Ooh, different that legs. that caused anxiety, boy. It, <laughs> Two of them? It would be times when like, Two and because, of course, like they were... <laughs> Like, um, they were they were really close, right? Mm -hmm. And which I which I always wanted, but see, this was the thing. 
I always treated them se separate. Like, if you never seen one without the other. So, but I had my thing with her, my thing with her. Sometimes we'll have bad time, bath time. Sometimes we'll have bath time. Okay, bath time. You know, it was just like, it was like, it was, it was like some <laughs> shit that I, I, I can honestly say that was one of my best like relationships like mom Aww. i love them like wow. still That's right now like 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 i it was just like next level and i was older mm -hmm. and by a couple of years and we were just all learning from each other it was our first experience but it ended toxic it was very like emotional mm -hmm. for years after that and then we were of course we were public and people were reposting us we were all over fucking social media y'all still on memes to this day and i'm <laughs> just like it was overwhelming they had their brand i had my brand yeah and it was just like we just brought this big thing and then the wow. poly thing was not as popping at that time that's true and then three pretty girls <clears throat> right yeah. So yeah it was just so much and then it started to be like overwhelming eventually because it started being a little like like, emo it, I can speak for myself. It was very emotional. Like, I felt like, like, it would be times when, like, if me and Lo are fighting, Armani just sitting there, but she still has to say something. Because at the end of the day, this is her woman. She was with her first. Right. So that's why I said, like, you have to be secure within your rela relationship. And one thing I can say about them that I loved is that they were solid. Mm -hmm. They were solid. We were solid, like, because... And I was the one, I fucked up in the beginning because I still had another girl already. Damn. And, but Is I'm it because not, you didn't think it was going to be something serious? I and just like, but yeah. me and my girl at the time was going through some chaos. Mm -hmm. And I was just thinking like, this was just going to be like, I'm thinking, well, I'm just flirting. Right. And then I flirted and I fell in love with these bitches. Like, <laughs> Damn, that's how it be. It was crazy. No, it was crazy. Yeah. It was really like crazy, intense, like, whoa, this is wild. I have never, like, it's, it got to the point where I was like, I can't even listen to certain songs because you bitches is... <laughs> It's too much. <laughs> and you know, a lot of people, they, they think like Polly is a joke. And right. they think that like this shit is fake and they're just having sex. But it was so much deeper than sex. It mm. was like so much deeper than sex. And I never knew that I could check. But that was when I really knew. I was like, I like this. I like how this feels. This is nice. This feels free. This feels loving. Word. And it's at the time, Lo was doing hair. And so me and Armani will cuddle while she's doing hair. And then when she comes now, she's going to come cuddle. It's just like, I can't explain it. It's, yeah. it's, but it's so emotional. It is. It's emotional. But it, it can be rewarding if it's done right. I be feeling like people in poly relationships, like, that's what they do all day. Like, just <laughs> cuddle. cuddling for no reason. <laughs> like, how y'all got time? No, this is going to work. Look, this is <laughs> going to work. So, so <laughs> you were in love with both of them. Absolutely. And it, and it felt different for it both was of them? Two they are two different human fucking beings. They right. really are, yeah. When I tell you two different beings, like, yeah. what I had with Armani is not what I had with Lo. What I had with Lo is not what I had with Armani. It was just, Armani is really like the sweet, caring, like correct. She wants to feed you. She wants mm -hmm. to she wants to clean the house at seven o'clock in the morning. Responsible. Lois. Yeah, she. Lois is Miss Attitude. Yes. She's gonna give me hell, and I'm gonna. <laughs> I loved it. Like yeah. it was just we had drama. Yeah. We we was the drama. But Armani was like. Here, here's your food. Yeah. Are you guys hungry? Can I run the bath? Like, oh, shout out to Monty. So she's so, I'm talking about like, I yeah. just be like, please never lose that. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. so fucking sweet. And then Lo was just like my little sweet little like devil. Mm -hmm. And I was just the devil too, but she yeah. was just like, just a little fiery, you yeah. know? And it was cool. It was like a balance. And, and sometimes mm. we need that balance. And I felt like that was my balance. But it worked well because we were, they were on a steady foundation. Mm. After that breakup, I dated another couple that I, I never like posted them. And it was super like short lived because I seen how unbalanced they were. And I kid you not, after I stopped talking to them, they broke up. So was it like, it was like I was the glue. Mm. I was the glue to them. They were all, I met them on Tinder. Yes, Tinder. Yes. Shout out to swipe, Tinder. swipe, swipe. They, they were going through things already. Mm -hmm. And they thought that bringing somebody else in was going to fix it. 
That's I think the biggest that's mistake. the worst. That is thing. the worst thing because I would think it would break it up. It's heartbreaking. Did you yeah. find yourself like being a counselor to them? <laughs> when I so one was like, older than the other one, okay. Okay. and the fem it was a feminist stud this time, okay. but she was a softer stud. Like I love mm. soft stud. Like an XL type of. Like, like uh, <laughs> am I? No, because they just recently to, found out she is STEM. I am not a STEM. Oh. I'm not. Don't say oh. She said oh. I don't know. No, because I, because you know oh. what? I was just explaining to somebody the other I'm day. Crying. Like, because. At this point, I don't know what I am. Just be here. Waldo. It's just so crazy because, like, when I say, like, I love softer studs, I love, yeah. like, I don't like rough ass, like, you think you a boy. Like, no, nah, like, let's come here. Butch, like, i yeah. I ain't pointing no fingers, but. Oh, see, no. They called me a dyke like... last week. I found out I'm a dyke. No. I need I a like... rough neck. See, yeah, I don't want that. I like soft. Like, <laughs> come here, come be gentle. Yeah. You know, like, that's what I like. And I don't care what you wear. Shit, mm -hmm. I'm wearing boy clothes too. But it's Period. like, at the same time, I want you to be like in your feminine. Comfortable in your femininity. femininity. Um, femininity. And I'm already word? like half fucking rough and half feminine so i'm yeah. kind of in the middle with that so it's just like you know but i like that i like that softness of that but that couple they didn't have their shit together at all when so I how tell do you, you it was bad how do you approach a couple like are you hitting them both up at the same time they like, actually hit me up. they hit you up again. they hit me up again. you be this you're the chosen couple. one I, yeah are I you know. putting like polly in your tender bio <laughs> Yeah, like how uh, they even know the. I don't even. It might have been. Yeah. It might have been in there. Okay. But again, Tinder, you know, you could just shoot something. But and and then on their account, it was one account. So they had you. You knew that it was a couple. Mm. Like, cause it said it was pretty clear. It was their pictures. You know, mm -hmm. so it was like that. But, but yeah, like it was cool. We went on a little camping trip, and I think that <laughs> what happened was. One day the stud had went. I was sick or something, and the stud had went and got me like all of my favorite snacks. And baby, that was it. The, the fam, she almost fucking lost her shit. Damn. And I was like, that's because they're not on solid ground. Because right. like, you wouldn't do that for me. Why are you doing it for her type uh, shit? Yeah, and that's shit. the part. And that's the part. I'm telling you, if you are looking to do poly, do that shit right. I, when I tell you I can't wait to experience, because I know, I've, I've been in love. I know the poly thing is really, it can work. Mm -hmm. But you cannot do it if you and your primary partner are just not here. If y'all not here, baby, it's a fucking tornado. Yeah. Okay. It's a tornado. So when you say primary partner, mm -hmm. right, um, obviously that's the person they've been with like long, <clears throat> longer, but should it be where everybody's being treated the same? Because we did um, in a, uh, have a conversation with what? What was the what, proper? Yeah, no. Uh, um, Cam. I mean, yeah, uh, Ray. Yeah, Devon Ray. Devon Ray. But what was her girlfriend like? She called them two different things. Basically, they weren't on the same. One was her kitty that mm -hmm. can't do no wrong. Like her submissive. Yeah, her submissive. Oh. And then one was like her girlfriend. So for you, mm. like somebody that been together for a while, are you being like more submissive, or is it like we're about uh, well, to be on the same? Well, page? see, me, I'm not more submissive at all. I'm I'm just coming in every relationship as myself. Coming in hot, right? Yeah, it ain't never gonna be <laughs> no. I'm around this bitch being nah. It's, yeah. I'm literally just myself, right? right. Um, <clears throat> I don't really think it means like I'm gonna be dominant or so, I'm just literally coming in as myself mm. and I'm and I'm adjusting to the environment. So mm. maybe maybe you do make me feel a little more submissive. Maybe you don't, but I think that it's just all about the environment. But um, yeah, your primary partner partner is just a person that you're really like building with and you know it's not that you're not building with the other people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you are but Armani and Lo they were each other's primary partner mm -hmm. period they were that's just that like it's not making somebody feel like they're the extra one like right. anything like she's just a sprinkle on no you tr I treat my ladies the same way I love super hard mm -hmm. like so you can't you just can't even like it's kind of hard unless you really just don't like the bitch then I mean <laughs> you probably are treating her a little I mean, different. being yeah. with somebody for five years and then getting a new joint like first of all we built yeah. so we, no 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 we're getting we're getting, okay, we're getting, we're getting, my fat. I said, new joint. I, I yeah. didn't expect it, everything. No, yeah, like, we're, we're getting, getting somebody. Okay. We're, we're getting, getting Yeah, because that's how I would feel like, um, would y'all feel like you ain't got a chance for it to be successful because y'all been together for so long and I'm just like new to y'all world? 
Like a chance for who? Like for me? Yeah, like if you, when you're going into a, a couple, mm -hmm. I mean, um, a pol what is it called when you go into a, a, a throuple? throuple? Mm -hmm. When you go into a throuple, but you're the newbie, so, so Do to I say. feel threatened? Right. No, no, especially if, if they don't make me feel, I've never felt threatened with like my So you just confident within yourself? No, it's, it's not even that. It's, it's literally about the dynamic. When I tell mm -hmm. you like from the first day, like we, it was just like, inseparable like nobody yeah. made anybody feel anyway like i'm sure they had their conversations on the side we've had our conversations on the side i've had we, we all i think it's just more about what you what your boundaries are and that's what's number one mm -hmm. boundaries have to be set yeah because without those <clears throat> boundaries it's a fucking jungle and it's a zoo and it's tiring and it's just a lot so they had really good boundaries but we didn't really have like it wasn't like nobody was like, oh, y'all can't have sex unless it's all three of us. No, we, if, if, if you, if we're out, it was times when like Armani would go make fucking breakfast and then like we'll be having sex or like. Oh, yeah. but I don't cook that's for y'all bitches out. Yeah. But see, that that's is just a different but that's world right love. There, but that's, yeah. that's that, having that confidence within that relationship. And that's love. So the other relationship. Because anything else outside of that is control. Right. Okay, true. So how could you have. Oh, true. because you in there cooking breakfast now. I can't pimping. cuddle with my bitch. This is my bitch still. Right, true. You know, like see, nah. that's where I'm like, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. like if I was in a poly, I think I'd be like jealous. Like you'd be, I'd like, be like, not yeah. right now. <laughs> no. I'd be like, you can't do. No. But that is controlling. It's it's controlling. And pimping. It's a difference. <laughs> no, you know, it's literally like you have to know the difference between like boundaries and control. So it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's, so, it's tough. The other relationship, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to jump back, but the other relationship, um, the girl did want to be treated a little different, it seemed like. She yeah, she wanted to do a lot of, she was, it, they were in a really bad space, yeah. apparently, before I even got in the picture. Mm. It had nothing to do with me. It was them. They were already in chaos, and they just kind of felt like, well, maybe if we add a little fun to it, that's going to help. But it's just like that just made them start resenting each other more and more. Yeah. Damn. Because well, I'm in the picture. <laughs> now, you you trying to get to know me, but y'all really ain't even talking. Right. You know, it hurt. That that's it's just it's chaos. So I I, I left both of them. Yeah, that don't sound like the best the bitches. best way, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Because one thing about me, yeah. If I come in it as a couple, yeah. we leaving as a couple. Right. Right. I don't. I'm it not, ain't giving no rebound. Ain't giving no move never, on. Never. I don't. Do, yeah. I don't move like that. Yeah, yeah. My thing is, and that's one thing about me. I'm solid as fuck mm -hmm. when it comes to that. Like, if I join this relationship, mm -hmm. if I just see that y'all are in have it i'm gonna just go because i don't want you without you right i mm. never wanted our money without low i never wanted low without our money yeah see that's, that's crazy good. because i feel like i heard about relationships <clears throat> where somebody would be in love with somebody like in the in like if it was a man they might be in love with the man but be cool with the girl yeah and be catering to one person but y'all are all catering to each other yeah, absolutely and that's how it's supposed to be it's yeah. like imagine you allowing somebody to like join your marriage and they really trying they really want to get close to you but they really just they cordial with your girl because they just wanted that's not cool you can't move like that i don't move i don't play that type of shit. like if i meet a woman and she wants to come with me and my girl you're gonna have to like both of us period unless me and my girl have a boundary where we're dating separately mm. if we have a boundary where we're dating separately then that's different but if we have a boundary where you came in this together then we leaving together that's the boundary this is so deep yeah, so if y'all date separate is it like Anything that got to be ran past each other? On Not really, because it, it's like, it just depends on, <laughs> it's literally just depends on your dynamic. Yeah. Like my last relationship, not my previous, not my relationship I'm right now, mm. the previous relationship, we were together for two years. Mm. And we just couldn't, when the poly shit, or, or, she knew that I was poly when, I, when she met me. Right. And she needed to she didn't she had never done that before mm. and so of course it was scary for her and once i got to the point where i was i feel like i was being really patient with her i was i was i was being super patient She's and like, i was bitch, i'm ready for I, another I'm one like, i got three no, bitches I, lined i got three bitches yeah. lined up no. you want <laughs> a pimp still or a stud just come what on i told right? you what it was when you signed up what bitch, is it's been three weeks i'm patient <laughs> <No>. <laughs> not three weeks you stupid no so literally like <laughs> She, long story short, she broke my trust. 
um, she was like texting somebody. Like it wasn't unserious, but it was trust is really big for me. Mm. Like huge. I can't. I, loyalty is everything to me. I can't. I eat. Like I can't do it. And so she. She was trying to come to her poly thing, and I think like she had met a girl on like a girl was writing her Instagram, but long story short, she was saying that the girl was trying to like talk to both of us, but she ain't never she ain't never shared a bitch with me. Right. So in my mind, I'm like, so you trying to be stingy? <laughs> you trying to you being stingy? Okay, I see what you're so, doing. So if if somebody is reaching out to her, she can't build even to to know that she even liked the girl. Before if she, she introduces No, if she's if the person is coming in the DMs on some I wanna talk to you and your bae thing, then that's a us thing. Let's talk about it together. We don't have me and my ex, we used to have we, bitches done flew from Atlanta okay. to come and spend a night with us. Like, name name them, name them. No, so I'm no. being petty, I'm being petty, I'm being <laughs> petty, I'm being petty. <laughs> like literally, like we have we had that thing, mm -hmm. but it went left. It went left and it was just like no trust at that point because I just felt like, what the fuck are you doing? You ain't even got to do that with me. Like, yeah. and, and I just felt betrayed and I, it's really, and I'm not going to lie, it's something I'm working on, but it, it's really, I try, I don't know how to forgive certain things. Mm -hmm. I can get through a lot of things, but I think that when it comes down, if I'm arguing with you about a bitch, we got bigger problems. I can't function. My hair hurt. I'm fucking. Damn insecure at moments Aww. and that's another thing too like people don't <laughs> people don't talk about this part of Polly. like right. you can still get jealous you know but even but with my ex it wasn't even that it was i didn't even get a chance to get jealous. you didn't even give me an option you just was like being weird and like texting her and then when i seen the messages I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't recover. Dang. And I, we were literally moving to London together and everything. Ooh, you fucked up the London move? The London? Like, Damn. I, like she, she still went because it was yeah, for yeah. her job, but I was like, I can't even, Yeah. I can't even, like, and then that's when I met my new partner. I met my new partner while I was with my old partner. Be yeah. Hold up, but you just did the same thing. What? what you I met somebody else while I was somebody. No, this is the thing. I we didn't have the boundary set. She we were not doing poly yet. Who? We didn't me and my ex like me and my ex, not my recent partner, but me and my ex-girlfriend. We was not doing poly yet. We oh, wasn't there yet. So y'all wasn't doing it, but she, she was talking to people on the side. Right. Talking about but, okay. but meanwhile, she telling me. She's not ready yet. Okay. Well, she's just a cheater. <laughs> that's Damn. what I, I mean. So hey. poly people can be cheaters still? <laughs> still she considered. wasn't poly. Oh, so because. She wasn't poly. I was poly, and I was trying to, like, <laughs> you know, get her to, you know, be a little more open. And yeah. she wasn't, she told me she wasn't ready. I'm talking about we're in therapy. Like, the therapist is, the therapist is telling me to, like, you know, be patient with her. I'm being patient, and you over here texting bitches on the side. How y'all think that made me? That that's yeah. nah, crazy. Like I'm trying to bring you into something and you doing it on your own, but you not. And this is her excuse. I just she just kind of felt like I had the upper hand in that because I was more experienced. More tenure, probably. So I was like, oh, so you you was trying to keep this bitch to yourself? <laughs> okay, cool. And I just couldn't recover, so we had to call off the move, the whole thing. But before we even broke up, this is the part where it gets tricky. Before we even broke up, it's all I was invited. I know I was invited to an outing. I barely go out for real. I was invited to an outing, and that's where I met my new partner that I actually been with for over a year now. And meeting that's that's where it get crazy. Mm -hmm. My house was in chaos at the time. Mm -hmm. Right, my house was in shambles. We literally like three weeks away from moving to a whole nother country. And this shit is in shambles, but I can't even try. I don't trust you. I'm, 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 I'm on edge because you lied mm -hmm. when you didn't have to lie. You opened up a door that I, I was just like, bro, this is crazy. So I got a question, and this is for even just couples. <clears throat> Why, when you're in chaos and you're fed up, but you're still with the person and you're going out, willing to meet somebody else and to say, but I'm not happy at home. Mm -hmm. You know, so many girls be like, yeah, I'm with somebody, but I'm not happy. It's about to be done. Like, why not break? 
See, the crazy thing is, that's the first mistake. You don't tell nobody that you ain't, you ain't got to go telling no girl that you ain't happy. I didn't tell my new girl that I wasn't happy at the time. I played that. We was in chaos. And our house was coming down <laughs> after that, after that, after I found the messages. Yeah. Coming down. And it wasn't even bad. It wasn't like <clears throat> she had met the bitch or nothing. The bitch was in a whole nother. But it was the principle that, like. The betrayal or something. I felt betrayed. Yeah. And I couldn't get over it. I want to change that. Like, I, I don't want to. Because nobody's perfect. But I was like, nah, bitch. Because I tried to be open with you. And you fucking. Took another route. I can't fuck with you. So was did it? She, oh, go ahead. Was it the <clears throat> messages that hurt, or was it just um, the fact that she did that and you was trying to get her? It was the fact that for the last four or five months, I was in a space where we were. I was thinking that we were finna open up our relationship. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. You didn't even, and you, and I was, I was waiting on you. Got them doors about to open, boy. They were, and then <laughs> I was waiting on you, and you over on the side already. Yeah. You know. And that was the problem. And so, of course, like, you got to pick up the pieces from that. And so I, I got him. I, either way, we're still together. We're still trying to make it work. I went to an outing, and it was at my my current partner's place at the time. And all I have to say, I couldn't stop fucking thinking. When I tell you, like, I, I my girl was at home, mm-hmm. and I had met her and i couldn't stop thinking about this lady mm. when, I this lady. You, when i she told you when i told you like, <laughs> i couldn't i couldn't stop thinking about this lady yeah. and <laughs> we so petty oh y'all so petty and i was just like damn oh, yeah, shirt. they call okay. her miss they call her miss <laughs> like oh you so the lady petty. doesn't never like yo that lady got her that got lady. her rap, rap I, on I, me. I couldn't stop thinking about it yeah like it was like a, we both cancers Oh, oh y'all, cancer. she had cancer that, too. You know what? That's why. That's why I'm looking at you like, yeah, because it do be. <laughs> as much as I know nobody's perfect, there are certain things that are deal breakers for me. And, and I and I and I just learned that. I think yeah. that's it. I think it's become a deal breaker for me. Yeah, I think and, that's what it is. And it, even though you forget somebody, that stuff still hurts you. It hurts and so it's, bad. And yeah. it's beyond like the betrayal. It's like, yo, I sleep with you. I tell you everything, and how much I give of me to you and you yeah. willing to sneak around with a bitch you don't even know like you don't respect me at especially all. when you yeah. poly it it's hurts. like all it you hurts. probably could have just did yeah. was come to me about it the thing about it is that once you take away my options even if we're in a space where we decide right now is not the time for us we're not on right we're, we're too rocky right now mm-hmm. so right now we'll just it's just not the time for us to be trying to let somebody else in right, right. that's True. what fucks it up True. because it's like if we have that dynamic you can't go and fuck up I get why what would you're you do now. that okay I, I get what you're saying you know now. what i'm saying like yeah. why would you do that that's <laughs> fucked up and so i met my other girl and and i i, I like i said i don't go out mm-hmm. i damn near didn't go in ah, okay i was like I almost got missed it. and she had a girl at the time oh, she's Lord, not even poly mercy. she wasn't even yeah, it's, girl. it's crazy but she's not even poly she wasn't like even like she she attracted to to couples for real yeah she wasn't even poly and you know yeah. i asked i was like yeah at the yeah. time i'm like yeah you and your girl like what y'all got going on you know but she was like oh nah you know whatever and I, her yeah. girl wasn't really my type but she was right. so beautiful to me right and i was like wow like she wasn't like a stud or fam she's like in between as fuck okay and so i was and like excel. <laughs> in between and wow. so i was just like damn like she's just she's just a thing and then we just started texting maybe not even right away though because yeah. she was like super like loyal as fuck and then we just kind of again my relationship started we went on our we went on like on maybe like a couple of weeks later we went on a little outing and my old partner that went out that i was that was still at home she mm-hmm. literally gave me an ultimatum she said if you don't stop talking because she knew I start like you can tell when your partner is like that shit hurt <laughs> you can tell Damn. and she was like pulling up on me we would be talking in a car for hours like I love like being in a car eating yeah. in a car like I just love doing that we can park somewhere and just chill and um she literally said to me like if you don't stop talking to her you can't come to London with me I mean, sound about right. <laughs> and I mean, I, no, but mind you, like... but wait, we're poly now. We're in a poly relationship. You fucked that up. 
You get yeah. what I'm saying? So now we three days about to leave and you say that? Oh, three days away? Three days away. Damn. But she told me that I had to cut her off yeah. in order for us to even. I said bye. You said no. I Damn. said bye. 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 I said bye. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about this lady, okay. all right? Not, not even because of that. I was choosing me. Yeah, Word. yeah. I wasn't choosing her. I wasn't choosing her over her. Mm -hmm. I was choosing me because... You chose you when you was texting them bitches on the side. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So now you think that I'm about to just change my whole lifestyle because now you scared. Mm -hmm. But you wasn't scared when you was texting them bitches, you know? Yeah. So it was kind of like, but them tables, baby. Okay, they always turn. They don't stop. They, yo. I'm glad you broke it down like that because I have a friend who was poly and she told me one time that her girlfriends think they, that she cheating on them. And I was like, ain't y'all poly? Like, how you cheating? But that makes sense about the boundaries in the communication. Absolutely, because sometimes, like, if you got, if it's three of us already, mm -hmm. we can make the decisions to say, okay, this is enough. Right. Let's we're maxed out. We're, we're maxed out. The <laughs> water bill's too high. Honey. <laughs> like, we can say that, and then yeah. that's it. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's the part. Like, there's no good communication. I'm still working on my communication. When it comes to poly relationships. What? This mm -hmm. shit is... Me and my new partner right now, we're going through it right in this moment. Mm -hmm. It's so much. You know, it's a process, and it's like... You, we, we, we haven't got a chance to open. We haven't even had our first threesome yet and all that type of stuff. And we're trying, we were trying to build up this momentum of something, but trust was broken. Mm. And so now how I just was in a relationship where I couldn't function. Right. But I love her so fucking much. Like I love this relationship. I have grown. I have literally like put on my big girl underwear for this cancer. The granny cause, panties. Cause she been giving me a run for my money and it makes me realize <laughs> how much I give people a run for theirs. Yeah. So it's like you're dating met yourself. Match. I mm -hmm. met my that's, match. That's mm -hmm. that cancer too. <clears throat> Two cancers, y'all emotional as fuck. Are, are you like June or July? July. Both of y'all July? July 2nd, I'm the 15th. Oh, okay. So we're right there. Back to back, yeah. And it's just like, woo, baby! <laughs> You are wearing me out, bitch. Like, you wearing me out, bitch. If this is what I was doing, I, th 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 to every ex that's hey, watching Let me find out you getting your so, karma. Let me find out you getting your karma. Let me find out you getting your karma right now. When I tell oh, you shit, to Candace. every ex that's probably watching this, I am so sorry. They eating popcorn like, yup, bitch. Bitch, that's what you me. get. When I tell you, if this is what I'm, if I've been giving y'all a run like this, baby, look. Yeah. I'm throwing a towel in. Y'all can have it. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so, burnt out. I'm such a better me today. <laughs> Jesus good. Christ. Hey, look, I know y'all into the episode, but we got something to show you. If you are into all kind of freaky stuff, shotstarship.com. Basically, what she's trying to say is, listen, if you want some freaky, kinky, all the above things with you and your girl, or if you trying to get you a girl, yeah. you need to go to shopstarship.com. Enter our code for 15% off. No homo show is the code. No homo show is the code for 15% off. Y'all, I got leather. I got whips. I got bondage. I'm taking this cuffs. home. You better whip that in your mouth. I'm out of here. Let's go. Uh, just to make sure I got this right. <laughs> <laughs> like a quiz, like so right. much information. So, so. <laughs> She, when, when y'all started talking, uh -huh. y'all both was in relationships, but then y'all got out of those relationships and ended up together. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. And she wasn't poly. No. Okay. So now she lost trust. So she did. So Kind of the same thing. Since we've been together now, okay. she, you know, she wants to open up. She okay. was now, now granted, she came in like. Okay, you know, I'm open to opening it up, you know, whatever. Cause I, she's actually never been in a such an open, free relationship. Yeah. Never. She's, you know, lesbians are possessive as fuck. We yeah. can be very possessive, like, and so she was Same used much. to that, like, you know, that thing. Ah. Right. <laughs> clink, clink. And so, no, literally. Like that. Clink, yeah. No. <laughs> Hold on now. Not, Not too much. much. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much. No. No, y'all like oh, y'all like too, it's too much. But Not literally, much. like, it's crazy because she, she, she wanted, she was like open to it. Like, and okay. I was like, I no more okay. Water. But I would, again, I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering from the last situation. She's recovering. But now we're so tight. It's kind of like, we really didn't heal from like 
the past situations. So it's like we're literally just like locked in. This mm -hmm. is my girl. That's like my best friend at this point. So it's like I do feel like our bond was so deep that when she did what I did feel like she went betrayed me, it's like it hits way. That's different. what I was saying about me. Like it hit way. You supposed to be like my best friend. Yeah. You doing me it, wrong. You're not just a bitch I like. It, it, hit, like, it hit different when yeah. and I, and I can honestly say not even comparing the two relationships, but this relationship mm -hmm. has I have I have fought like I have been in this shit like oh. I was in that shit, but I think we just had a different dynamic. We knew each other for like a long time, but. That connection, that instant connection that I had with her, I didn't have with her. Mm -hmm. And we knew each other since we were children. So it wasn't the same. Like, it was just different. It was very intense. And it was very, like, a lot. And I think that, like, once that, once a little bit of betrayal, it, it don't take much. It, it, it ain't don't. even like it she really didn't. Don't. Like, I felt like she was out giving a bitch head or something. It was yeah. just, like, just to see mm -hmm. that we haven't set those boundaries yet we haven't even stepped our foot into the poly world yet we haven't even opened that door and you started moving uh, you just did that little thing and again this is a me problem as far as like how i forgive and how, what i can take and my boundaries that i set for me and so people have this misconception of me that i'm just she's fucking careless this bitch is the thank you next queen i mean that's what it looked like because i saw the chick Ooh. then i saw the chick and i was like damn <laughs> i maybe i the algorithm maybe i haven't nah, seen your, yeah. maybe i ain't seen your page in a little minute but i could have sworn it was just a little light skin chick around no i would that was two years. This so, has been a year. It, it's it's been a year already. Yeah, they we crossed. Have been they year. crossed. Yeah. Yeah. She was ending her two years. She was in six right. months. <laughs> no, no, right, no. Well, not really. It was, like, like, was giving Houdini. It was. It was definitely probably like a, it was like I was because again we were at that point we were in an open poly relationship. So she was dating people too, but we just could I couldn't get over. It's it's a lot. It's a open lot. Poly. It's a lot. But <laughs> yeah, she was dating people. I would okay. let her boo come over, watch movies, like. Okay, so there's another way of doing poly. Mm -hmm. I'm asking that we are together, <clears throat> but we're both open to date people separately. Is that correct? Yeah, if if you want that. So is there a max <laughs> to the poly? Like, what, is there a number? Is like, yo, I ain't having more than five at a time. Is Me there personally? Yeah. I think I just, you know what? I, I think what I've decided, I'm going, I can do three. That's my Three total think. or like three additional? No, three four. total. Okay. Like me, you, and you. Thropple. Oh, okay. Yeah, thropple. Because I think that I just, I want to get my, I need that healthy dynamic. I haven't experienced that yet. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want. I want that more than anything. I don't want to experience this any other way at this point i want i desire a healthy poly dynamic i don't want my bitch doing shit on the side and then now it's forced into some shit mm -hmm. i don't want to be doing shit on the side now it's forced into something like please just please <laughs> she like, is I'm, tired y'all <laughs> okay for real like because for real this shit hurts yeah it hurts and and, and it's like people don't see this side of me mm -hmm. like People don't see vulnerable candidates. People mm. just think for real that I just be around this bitch switching out bitches. Pimp, like, pimp, pimp, and they be pimp, like, y'all, my heart is hurting. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Yeah. Like, I really be like, now granted, some people I don't love more than others. I'm mm. not going to lie. It happens. It happens. But, yeah, it, this shit ain't no joke. <laughs> And that's the thing, like, um, and I know you said, like, with Lola and Monty, like, you love them equally, but, like, mm. is that really a thing to like find somebody where y'all you love them both you love them both 33. equal 33 i mean not it don't even i don't think it has right. to be i think i don't even look at it as like equal because yeah. i loved her for something and i loved her for something right mm -hmm. so it, it wouldn't equal it's not even equal because they're just so different they were just so different okay so what if you went into a relationship and you really fell in love with somebody and then you really ain't fall in love with the other person then i don't want to be i can't be with either one of them and you willing Damn, to leave the person go. that you really love? 
you have it, are you saying uh, did i come in it they were already a yeah oh absolutely i, oh, I don't wow. want to break up a home that is okay, not respectful <laughs> no nah, i respectful said that but i don't i don't not no nah, it's it's because see me like i'm real big on that i don't want to come in shysty like that right like i don't want to do that me and my girlfriend didn't even post each other for real until she was completely moved out. Well, that makes sense. Completely the current like, or the yeah, the current. Okay. Yeah. Don't like, post. I think I saw on the day I was moving. I saw boxes in the back. I'm playing with nah. you. <laughs> no, exactly. like, uh, wait. no, literally. But I'm like, joking. it's crazy because it's just one of them things where it's like, yeah, like you kind of just you don't want to move like a snake. Yeah. I don't want if I if I if y'all are together and I and, and I just so happen. Uh, my man. Yes. My man, and, my man. And I man. like literally like Brit Moore. I I think I would just have to we cuz how does that work? How does that work honestly? Right. We it, I don't you. think it will it work. It doesn't. Cuz I'm thinking about like even with like you know how you have a favorite parent like <laughs> <in> my, <laughs> like yo it's I couldn't be Polly because I feel like I'm going to like somebody it more. It doesn't work. It yeah. doesn't work like that. You don't want, and now, now granted, in it, because eventually somebody, you're going to start to feel like, you're going to start to know that I don't like you as much. Damn. You know, I should give him the cold know. shoulder. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you just know. You know, you out now. Bitch, every time I come in the room, you cuddle in with Brittany. You don't never cuddle <laughs> hey, can with you, me. Can we, uh, <laughs> no, it's all Brits cuddling with me. No, That's my I'm little, the little spoon. I like. <laughs> I'm definitely giving the little spoon vibes. No, okay? like, every time. Like, it's like, imagine that. Like, I don't want no girl to come in with me and my girl, like, just trying to get with me. You right. better like my bitch, too. Or, right. or, again, there's another dynamic. Say for instance, me and my girl, we may, maybe like you meet you meet you meet this girl and you don't even like her. I don't even, babe. She's not really my type. You can have you can talk to her, enjoy her. Mm. That's 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 See, the thing too. You I do feel that. that, but like if my girl fell <laughs> head over heels for somebody, like yeah. I'm gonna be, I gonna feel some type of way because we don't have nothing. And she's looking. Why are when you not I, sitting in the car talking for four see, that's hours? That's the thing. But see, that's the thing. That's a monogamous mindset. Yeah, that is. But right, because don't even sign up for that if you're gonna. No, seriously. But yeah. the thing about it is that, like, see me. All we, if we are solid, I yeah. need us to be rock solid because mm -hmm. I still get jealous. Mm -hmm. I still can be a little possessive, you know. So it's like, if. If if you ain't bought me flowers in six months, cause we've been going through it, but then I look you you out with another bitch giving flowers. Oh yeah. my that's heart! Why the, that's why. What are one. you doing? <laughs> you are you crazy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like baby. whoa. That's why the one girl was mad. She you got all the snacks. All you was sick. I mean, you ain't get snacks. She ain't got no snacks for the last I'm, three months. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Damn, three months. Uh, God damn, cooking no, a bag just, of chips. I'm just like, no, no I'm just saying. But like, it was given like extra attention. Yeah. And, you know, and like, That's even with lot. me and my girl, we're like, it's like, <gasps> woo, you giving, you know, you doing this, and we we over here fucked up. Yeah. yeah. We over here going through it. You over here doing this, and I, we over here. You treating her like that. a new relationship. You treating me like that been new together. relationship. That honeymoon energy? stage would be so See? fun, right? That's you go all hard. out. That's you my do flowers. Thing. I love a good. Oh, yeah. I love a new relationship. It hit different energy. in the beginning till they get it comfortable. Hit. When I tell you, mm -hmm. like that new relationship <laughs> energy. Stop cooking and shit. Hey, y'all gotta watch out for that. You yeah. gonna be doing, you know, like that's how. What when I tell you, I'm talking about butterflies in the phone. I'm yeah. in my phone. <laughs> All day long. Right. I just love this bitch. You know, that new relationship energy is no joke. So wouldn't you would funny. you not prefer to do uh start a relationship where y'all all start in together? Like all nobody knew each other? Yeah, or like, like where you're all not getting to know each other? Yeah. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. I've never had that. Okay. Seems rare. That would be nice. So seems um rare. it seemed like you don't have a type. So for those that are <laughs> like, on damn. Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> no, not in a not in a bad way, but I'm saying no, like I've definitely. seen you date stems, I've seen you date films, mm, studs. Yeah. So what would you describe as your quote unquote type? Eclectic people. No, Hold on, I, let me get I, my phone now, because what the fuck? Literally? <laughs> Eclectic. No, I literally love just like I love like good looking people. I love like you got like please be fly. I'm okay, period. I, I I'm so tired of 
I'm so tired of dressing bitches. <laughs> I'm exhausted with that too, bro. Like, let's just call this the tired show, okay? Yeah. Because I, when I tell you, like, I'm just like, please know how to put some clothes on yeah. properly. <laughs> No, like, can I just call you and be like, we outside and we going you come to looking and good. I'm not stressed about <laughs> damn. Please what? don't wear your favorite sweater from the seventh grade. If you Please. bring that sweater out <laughs> one more time. I done, I done went through a few closets. So yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. I done went through a few, <laughs> few closets and thrown things away. For real. Mm-hmm. That's what, because I can't, I think like that is a love language for me. Yeah. That is a love, to see my bitch know how to put some clothes on. Okay. Ooh, I love you. What you doing? Like, I don't, I love that. That is, that is a love language of mine. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. If you can put that shit on, like, put that check, shit on. Check, check. Put that shit on. Check, check. All right, so who got um the best kitty cat? Because we heard that Stud pussy is top tier. Shout out to Fred O'Bain. Between Stud. Oh, between right. Studs and Ben, who got the best you know kitty cat? What? Who more wet? Don't lie to us, neither. We all right. Come on. <laughs> Drip, 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 drip. No. Somebody get the mob. Somebody get the no. mob. <laughs> now we turn into bitches. I know, right? No. Yes, no, yes. Those so were wet, though, for they real. Are. They are. Why? Why is it a? Is there a reason why? <laughs> you because I be kind of feel like y'all be trying to hold down, make it seem like y'all don't want it, but y'all do. So it's, 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 like, real, it's like, backed up. It's, it's backed up. <laughs> It ain't flowing as much. That shit yeah. just come out like a waterfall. No, no, for real. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that ooh is that oh, I am weak. Well, y'all heard it here first, man. Studs no, is no, got the real. better. Like, I mean, I and I love like films too, but it's like, yeah. okay, cool. But like them, like, I love like, I love like girls, even if you're masculine, like when we get in that room. Okay, baby, I hear. I want to hear you. Are you strapping, like Mariah? Are you strapping? I have. Or you want to hear your stud sound like Mariah? I'm being God damn. I'm saying, but like I, I don't want oh. no. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm like, not, not 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 like no like. Yeah. You know, super. Uh, like no. <laughs> you don't man. want no Georgia the Jungle. No. I'm you good. don't want no. I, uh, I, uh, I really want. I want you to. I want feminine. To see the chest. Right. I want to touch on you. I want to hear you. The tatas. Oh my god, that I, I love that. It's supposed to be having them big old bitties like Excel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. My wife loves. I'm like, girl, yes, back And that's good because that's why she married you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's your wife. Like she a girl. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, like come on, it's just be right. crazy. I don't know why y'all like these studs be trying to be all tough. If you're mm-hmm. a tough stud, it's a no for it. It never happen. Because baby, look, I want you. I want you to be like willing to bend over. Like, oh I, wow! Yeah, like I like that. Cause I'm not like the girliest girl, <laughs> mm-hmm. but like I'm not like a stud either. But I, I like I'm a gr- I can be aggressive. Got yeah, daddy energy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, especially with us, like with a certain type of woman. If you mm-hmm. allowing me to be, yeah, baby, yeah, I, I love. <laughs> Lay that. it down. I love that. I love that. So it's just like. You know, yeah. be yourself. Okay. Um, to sum up, like the poly thing, did mm-hmm. you have any more poly? No, questions? girl. Yeah, I've right. got my homework to, to study to do. I to, gotta study to, like, some more. <laughs> to sum it up, as somebody that's like kind of <clears throat> pitching it, not saying you are, but just saying. It. <laughs> All right. Um, outside of the sexual thing, because even with lesbians, people think instantly sex, but it's deeper than that. Like oh, you right. said. Ah, yeah, I ain't having All that right. much sex. All right. Trust me. All right. So, so what is the pro like the pros of it like we can all think of the cons and how like jealousy and stuff but yeah i hear people saying like you could just build so much more and stuff like that um you know what the pros in my opinion would be just like that freeness that feeling of feeling free that feeling of feeling like i'm i'm so in love with watching my partner be so in love wow it's 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 like another level of like it's like I'm rooting for you, like mm. I can't wait to experience the day when I can help my partner get dressed for her her date. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to help you. That's some different Not shit. Not for real. It's, it it makes me emotional because it's like I that's what I really want deep mm. down. It's like the pro these cons. I'm tired of the cons. I'm yeah. ready to get to the pros where. I feel so tight. I feel like we so tight that you can come home and you can say, baby, oh my God, I have a date tonight with Melissa. And 
I'm like, oh my God, you should wear that cute shirt that we just purchased the other day. She would love that. Mm. Let me root for you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me root for you. <laughs> let me be, let me bask in that. Let me watch your story while you out enjoying this bitch. You know what I'm saying? And, and then I want you to come home and tell me all about it and how much of a good time you had. And I still want to feel so secure that I know that you didn't sneak behind my back. You didn't, you didn't lie to me. This didn't, this, this has just happened. Like we're literally in a space where I feel so safe that I can literally, I got the popcorn waiting for you when you come <laughs> home. Cause I, I'm so hyped cause you my home girl. Yeah. You're my best friend. And I can't wait till you tell me how fire that date was. If your wife told you that she's Polly XL, what would you do? My little heart. My little heart. Your little cancer heart. Hey, Ooh. I'll be sorry as hell. And it's even like, like, of course, of course, like, I wouldn't even want it with no femme. You know what I mean? Like, it might soften. You the, want a stud? No, I'm oh. saying, of course not <laughs> a stud, know. but even if it was a femme, some people would be like, well, I get two femmes, like, or whatever. Like, no, I don't. Like, oh, I'm not, right, you're saying you. And yeah, 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 but, yeah. like, it, it's not meant for everybody. It's not. Yeah, it's definitely and not. You know what I'm and saying? It's, and I, it's not. And I'm, I think somebody that it's not meant for is trying to put themselves in that feeling, and that's why, like, it hurts Father, already. Yeah. It hurts already. Yeah, because imagining that where it's okay to understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. the freedom and, st and stuff like that. I'm but it you. is like, yeah. But it kind of makes you, like, your heart skip a beat. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, in my relationship now, my partner, like, that's my homie. Mm -hmm. And I have been in, I damn near been monogamous with her this mm -hmm. whole ride because we've just been, I've been going, I, I had a lot going on in 2022 mm -hmm. and I just didn't have time for no extra bitches. And so <laughs> we, even when we would have the conversations because my love is so strong for her, even though I'm the one that, that initiated, my heart was like, oh. Cause I love you. Mm. I love you for real. Like I love you for real. And I, and I adore you. And I, and I, and I'm, but I still in the back of my mind would have, I want her to experience that. I do. I want her to experience it in the healthiest way possible. She has never been free. She, she has never had that dynamic. And I want that for her so bad, but it's just like, I, it is scary. It's mm -hmm. so fucking, ooh, it hurts when you think about it, when you really <laughs> love somebody. So it's like, yeah, you want them, to, you want that. But it's like, how can I not allow you to experience that? I just want to experience it in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. And I feel like some things has happened along the road that has like kind of jaded my mind. And it's like, now I'm jealous. Now I'm crazy. Now I'm acting like I'm insecure because... It's just coming from a different place. But how we did it the right way, mm -hmm. I can let you be free. Mm -hmm. my, my, I don't have to be insecure. I know mm -hmm. I'm a badass bitch. Like, Period. Let them know. It's like, I don't have to do this, but I love you for real. Mm -hmm. So this ain't no... Come on, Monique. You can go and enjoy <laughs> these bitches and do this and that and that. But like, what we've built is just unbelievable. Unbreakable. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and it's just like, damn, I hope, you know... I hope that we can get through these hurdles and try to do this shit like eventually the right way, but it's 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 tough and it hurts. So it could does. your love for somebody ever be so strong that you just want to be with them? You know what? I don't think cuz I I want a wife. I do want a mm -hmm. wife, but I still want a girlfriend. I'm not going to You lie. just want your you <laughs> No. Like, you want I, your cake and want to eat it too. No, I just genuinely I really do believe in like that f because I've experienced that free love. Mm -hmm. So you don't think it's free if you're with some, just one person, but then it's free if you're with two, but you can't be with three. <laughs> no, I just think that we have, Levels we, to we have programmed our mind to believe that like one person, when you're, think about it as from a lesbian's point of view, we so fucking possessive, right? So it's like, how dare you look that bitch? You should, I should be the only bitch you see. Mm -hmm. I'm the only, I, I should be the pretty. No, I know that my girl thinks other girls are beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know she like, she like the bitches with like the botched body. She <laughs> love that whole thing. She's all about it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I know that she loves me too, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't, and I don't doubt that your partner will love you too. But I think that we've just programmed our mind in this fucking lesbian community to think that like, how fucking dare you think another bitch is pretty? Yeah, I ain't trying it's to like that. It's so possessive. <laughs> like, I used to be so possessive. When I was, like, in my younger years, 
girl, you better not even yeah. see it. And that's, that's insecurity because so you can still be secure in a in a relationship and yeah, not yeah. be like you fuck with somebody, but like looking at somebody and not be tripping. Plus it, mean? plus but it comes from have- like girls. Also for me, like girls actually doing me wrong, and then now I'm like on some like insecure shit like why no. are you looking at them and because that's what I'm i've been hurt before yes. and you know what i'm saying Absolutely. but that's just me not taking my time to heal yeah to where now and i'm that, dealing that, with somebody because, where i'm secure exactly mm-hmm. and, and it's, be, and it's, it's, it's it, do i be what it's taking good. your time between relationships to heal you know what honestly i don't think that i have like like i could have because it's a lot of things that I feel like, like I feel like if that was the case, my anger would be better. Mm. You know, like my attitude would be better when it came to certain things. And I'm still learning every Word. day. I'm still learning. Like a lot of things, even being in my new relationship, like I said, it's like a mirror. I'm dating myself right now, I feel like. Mm-hmm. And I think about a lot, and this is this takes a lot to admit, a lot of real shit. You have to really sit and, my ex was right. Uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? X, X. Like, she don't right. like popcorn. No, for real. It's <laughs> like crazy. I told your ass. It's certain things. No, not even in a negative way. Because I, yeah. I hope that she's had time <clears throat> yeah. to reflect about some shit that I was right about as no, well. No, I'm about to say, because when people break up, it's never just one person's fault. Never. It's, it's areas on both sides where it's y'all could have done better. It's never just one person's yeah. fault. Mm-hmm. And I think that that is the problem, too, with girls. Mm-hmm. We always talk one about what friend. they did. What the fuck did you do? Exactly. How did you Hello? play the part? What part did you do? And I don't think that. That's we true. talk about that enough. Mm-hmm. It's always about, well, she did this to me and then she moved on first. So now I look like the bad guy. It's like, no, nah, mm-hmm. you fucked up. Yep. You made me feel insecure. So I decided we didn't have a, now our relationship is in chaos, but yeah. I ain't even ready to leave you yet. But then it's, it's just so much shit. And I think that that is the thing. But I, I want, I just, I hope everybody gets to experience because I've experienced so many different forms of love mm-hmm. and I'm grateful for that. Mm-hmm. And as hard as it was to like hear my new partner be like, okay, I'm ready. Cause I, I it was at one point I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to open mm-hmm. us up because I was so attached to what we were building and I, I got scared. And that is another thing. It is okay. Just because it's just like when you're being bisexual. People get this. People have written me all the time. <laughs> I'm not by. <buying>. She's <laughs> People jealous. write me all the time and they be like, <laughs> oh, Candace, like, so are you monogamous now? And it's like, just because I'm, just because you see me with my partner for a long amount of time does not mean that you don't know what we're doing behind closed doors. Right. But at the same time, just like you're bi and when you're dating a woman, you, you can, and then one day you want to date a man. That is fine. I don't have to be, I don't have to have 10 bitches all the time. Damn. Right. Like, <laughs> Let me enjoy my woman right. in peace. And but that does not make me any less poly. Mm, any less you know, poly. It just it just saying. Well, I appreciate you breaking it down like that because I was poly for like two weeks. But I really just wanted two bitches, girl. I didn't know none of this shit was Are like, you serious? I ain't know nothing about setting no boundaries or nothing. And then like it didn't How did work it go? because no, the girl got jealous. She got jealous. I was talking to a girl first, mm-hmm. and I asked her, like, would you be open to us, you know, bringing somebody in? It's like three of us, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, yeah, like, bring them in. Bought her in, and the first girl was, like, just jealous, like, mm. just started tripping. I was like, yeah, this. Were you? Do you feel like you were catering to both or what? Was you a I good feel like, partner? <laughs> I feel right. like I Were was. Right? I feel like I was, like, the one chick. I was, like, almost always with her, and then the other chick, I was, like, kind of sometimes hanging with her but we didn't set no boundaries or like ever like really had no real conversation so maybe that's what it was but then again i didn't know half of this stuff because this is more than just having like two girlfriends and i feel like oh. a lot of people doing it just because it's like a trendy thing cute. and it looks cute no, and i want to experience that but it's a lot that come with that it's especially when feelings get involved yeah it's not it and again tricky. especially with three girls yes imagine three especially just, having just two films shambles. i was like one film is enough two yeah, it's a lot, oh. and, and you have to have the mental capacity mm-hmm. to, you know, enjoy that. And again, you have to have trust, bro. You can't yeah. be around here thinking that like this shit is gonna flourish with no trust. Yeah. And you have to have money too. Baby. You have to have a little money. <laughs> okay. You have to have a Flowers. little money. Yeah, for both. Nah, for real. Yeah, and <laughs> then you gotta think about it too. Like again, it's not double the things. You still right. have to get to know me. 
I still, right. you gotta love me. You have to love her how she wants to be loved, mm -hmm. how she needs to be loved, and you have to love her how she needs to be loved. That's a full time job. You, I ain't got <laughs> no, time. It ain't gonna be no, you just, I'm just loving as a collective. No, this is still a human being. I have to right. love her and her love language, and you have to love her and hers, you yeah. know? So. All right, well, I'm gonna ask you one question because we, we get asked this all the time, and it, this is called Guidance from the Gay Guys, okay? So okay. this is where people DM us asking advice. Okay. First question, we get it all the time. And we, really don't know how to answer it, all right? Okay. So the first question is, what are the best dating apps or best ways to meet? Because you be on them. To meet no. <laughs> People ask you oh, that all the time, and I don't know what, what to tell them. <laughs> I, th I feel like I heard, like, the Tammy one. I've never been on that one. Isn't that like a... Tammy? Oh, like Tammy. I heard of Tammy. Or Tammy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Tammy. Um, I would say Tinder. Tinder is really the only one that I've ever been on. And the I've one never, you swipe it. Yeah, so I you, haven't tried, like, the Grinders and, like, the Her. I think it's one called So her. you was never on Downey Link? <laughs> oh my god i was back in the day yeah yeah, yeah. i ain't never heard of that one i remember that's, that. that's my crazy. that's my last uh what uh dating website <laughs> i um, forgot all about that that is so weird last question this girl we won't disclose says how do i approach dating after being out the game for 13 years that's a long fucking time she don't know she be <laughs> I, what <laughs> well i mean i guess you just would just have to put yourself out there it must be something that she's feel like maybe she just doesn't feel confident no no so 13, 13 years is a long, but out the game, a long time no you might have been in a 13 year relationship and now oh, you're trying is to that what she's oh, okay saying? i don't know I don't literally know, just say how do i approach dating after being out the game but for 13 if, years you know how if you're in a long-term relationship and then you go back in the date and it feel mad awkward yeah and shit. oh yes so, what That's advice do get out there and get your strap wet nigga i don't know what to tell you. that is so much don't be a hoe this is what i tell you to do I, be a hoe and have right. fun don't like the first girl you like don't Commit don't be to quick her. to cuff 13 her. years is long and you need you missed out on some things you need you experience definitely missed out on some things. Yeah. but i definitely you know what i also do like when like i feel like everything just happens for a reason i'm not a time person so i feel okay. like i don't really think about like oh my god it's too soon or so it's like if that's what works for you be free right like just do i used know. to be like that like not a time person but then i was like nah i gotta start giving people at least like 90 days before i be like claiming you and like right being like i want to be with you and stuff because yeah. i am a you haul lesbian used to be yeah i met a girl one day we were the next day we was together and then, and then like two months after that we was engaged oh. without a ring <laughs> it's the wild for me without a ring. three without months a ring, they were divorced i had on i had her tatted it, it went oh. really yeah so i would say take your time 13 years if you can wait 13 years Take your time, have fun. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't trying to wait for that. 13, 13 years is no, very long like, time. I feel like they was in a relationship, in a relationship for 13, 13 years. years. Yeah, just take, just, it, just take it slow, because um, the, dating, the dating scene is... It's 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 red yeah. flag. Yeah, technology technology change and shit. Get to know. Yeah, uh, take yeah. it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, this was great, Candace. We really appreciate you, yes. and I hope that you know people enjoyed our conversation today. No, we learned I had a lot. So much fun. This is an educational platform. So yes. <laughs> oh my god, we didn't play that game. Oh, what game? Uh, the, game. the card. They got. Oh, where you have it? It's it's a digital game. All right, oh, let's just go about it real quick, and then let's we can we can do a question or something. All right, okay. so Candace has her own game. Talk to us about the game. Oh my God! So guys, I created a digital game for. I did a couples um couple couples edition and a friends edition. Um, I'm gonna send it to you guys. So Is you guys that a poly couple? We couples. We couples. No. Oh, oh my God. Couples, So give us the no, couple edition. It's yeah, not. we want so literally pretty much it's called uncomfortable conversations now i was able i created this game because again y'all y'all been talking shit all day i have been in a lot of little situations and <laughs> over over time i've collected these questions in my mind just some things like i i felt like i i, I was the type of person that like if i didn't like how they dressed i would just be like ghosting like, I can't really, I don't want to, I'm not brave. I don't want to tell you because yeah. I don't want to hurt your feelings. All right. But baby, not, 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 cancer. not, yeah, not, not 31 year old Candace. I'm trying to tell you everything. <laughs> like, so the questions are pretty much like, it's 101, 101. One of them has 101 and one is 102 of like, you just pretty much <laughs> asking questions. Okay. So you're literally just asking very uncomfortable, cringy ass questions. I'm not going to lie. Like some of these <laughs> questions in here, you're going to be like, <gasps> <laughs> weird like so is this okay. an app no it's not an app it's just a digital download oh, oh so okay it's gotcha. 20 dollars it okay. literally like the friends edition and the couples edition you, they're 20 dollars a piece so where do you get it from 
I, if the link is in my bio, we'll okay. add it. Can we get yeah. affiliate link? Absolutely. Okay. The link, the link is in my bio, <laughs> but it is such a good game. We and the only rule, we want that line for Darlene, right? For free get, uh, The only game, the only rules to this game is honesty, honesty, and honesty. Okay. Those are the only rules. Okay. So middle name. So. Do you guys want to like play just one? Yeah, yeah let's play. Okay, so I'm gonna so go is this phone. like, are you asking it and we answer or we? Actually, I'll give you guys the following, I think, because that'll be better. So this is how it looks. It's just like a digital game and like literally the numbers are at the top. So, Britt, how about you just shout out a number? Seven. Seven. Okay, so now you can read. Me? I'll read, read it? Read it to her. Do you feel like I'm living out my dreams? Oh, yes, you are. Every, every. <laughs> wow, thank you. He wanted to be a DJ all his life. No, like, no, 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 literally. <laughs> I hate him. Oh, crying. Now you pick a number for her. <laughs> I'm picking a number. You pick a number. No. Oh, no, I'll pick a number. No, you, right. I'll say a number. Yeah, all right, say um, three. Keep it cute. <laughs> oh, I'm, I think three might be a good one. Do you think we have a healthy friendship? No, I do. I do think we do. Oh wait! I think we do. <laughs> you want to ask something? Who else? is your least favorite person I've introduced you to? Mmm, keep it real. You don't have to say their name. Their name. Say it. Know. All right, probably your ex, cause she was holding you back. Oh, okay. Uh, Respectfully. We got ten X to say. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? All right, cause all them bitches try to hold me back. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. No, no yeah. The, the questions get very deep. This is something I can put with my girlfriend while we eating dinner. No, they have. A, she has a no, relationship. No, I'll show you the. So the couples one. Well, we're a couple also. So can you ask us? No, I said we the couples one. All right. Okay, so this is the couple edition. We the poly. Edition is black. And we got our relationship we actually are again, poly, but we have boundaries with men. Yeah, like we don't get jealous. We don't. And you just do your thing, and I just do yeah. my thing. Okay. We talk the most. Probably the most. Right. What is something that XL does that you truly just can't live with forever? Like if you like you like it's like okay it's cool now. You're trying to break if, us up, I feel like. No, like literally, like if it's something, like if if it's like she could, it could be anything, like snoring her sleep or fucking. Grin her teeth, like just something that you just be like, I don't know if not I can deal much, with this. <laughs> I mean, when she get drunk, she be rubbing her feet with her lotion. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of awkward, but like I'm like, go ahead, yeah, girl. She hey, no, when no, she no. drunk, no, she no, rub, no. she look, rub her feet with some lotion. <laughs> no, so we get booked and we share the it's same. It's a little hotel, awkward. <laughs> Anytime I'm lit, I put lotion on my feet before I go to hey, bed. Hey, I come no. out the bathroom, I see that lotion on that counter. It's like, no. oh, it's about to go down. <laughs> she about to fuck up. No, that up. is so funny. Okay, do you have anything that she does? Like something that you can't, you just absolutely cannot deal with forever. Oh, God. I'm trying to think. <laughs> and but. I actually can live with that. It's just that's the one thing that be like, yo, that's kind of, all right, though. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. I can't think of it off the top of the I'll head. I'll across the board, bitches. Not, not that. I, I'll think I'm about. I'm perfect. I don't I'll, need to work on shit. I'll write it in the comments. I'm sure I'll think of something. Right. right. <laughs> you gonna be going in? She ain't that great, y'all. She ain't that great. <laughs> All right. So we might as well wrap it up because yeah. I know this, we, this been a long episode. But we're gonna put, add your link um to your card game. Yeah. And um, I mean, yeah, to your game online. So um, that'd be dope. It's actually pretty fun, and we just answered like three questions. No, yeah. it, no I'm gonna and, play that with my girl. And those are really slight, but when I say the questions are like, they get they get cringy. Like right. one yeah. question, I'm gonna tell y'all, it was like, have I ever smelled bad and you didn't tell me? Damn. You know, you know how like you're laying up with your girl and you like, I really just don't like how she smells. Nah, my girl always smells good. Like, <laughs> you know I'm like, looking like, did my girl think I smell bad? No, for Ooh, real. I might have been a little musty one day, baby. No, like for real, it's, it really gets, <laughs> it, it goes down. Damn. I'm not going to lie. It goes down because again, this is something that like I've concocted over time and I, things that I wish I would have spoke up about. Or things that I would hope that, that I would want people to speak up about, you know, no matter how much. That's why it's called uncomfortable conversation. True. Word. It helps with that, that communication. Because I'm like, communication is something that I'm really trying to like master eventually. And it's a try. We all are. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a process. It's hard. At least you're trying. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Made a game out of it. Okay. okay so. <laughs>
All right, homos. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. We out of here. Whole lot of gay shit. Whole lot of gay, 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 gay. gay. I like that. Boss Brit. We certified. And DJ Excel.